Each year, the international pace was contested at a mile and a half and a mile and a quarter. The second international pace at Yonkers Raceway in 1960 was marred by numerous breaks, and one of those breaks was by O'Brien Hanover with Delvin Miller driving. That's right, in the first turn, little close quarters, and he made a break. He very seldom made a break. Widower Creed also made a break That's with Howard right. Bisinger. And then coming down the lane, Bye Bye Bird makes a break, and he was interfered with. And I think that year is won by a Canadian, and I forgot to say that in the international races, Canada also had an entry. Right. So a lot of people think that trotters are the only ones that make breaks. Well, that wasn't the case in the 1960 international pace from Yonkers, the second international pace that year. You're going to see quite a few breaks coming up by Widower Creed, O'Brien Hanover, and Bye Bye Bird down the lane. And the finish, a dead heat for win, with one of the winners being disqualified. A great moment in harness racing from 1960. Seven top harness thoroughbreds get away at Junkers in the rich international pace. Caduceus, the third choice of the punters, sets the early pace. On the rush for the turn, he cuts sharply to the rail, and two horses break stride. Widower Creed, favorite number two, O'Brien Hanover, number one. They never really get back into contention. Twenty-seven thousand fans see a hard contested event. In the drive for the finish, it's Bye Bye Bird and Caduceus battling. Bye Bye Bird breaks pace when Caduceus cuts in. Meantime, Champ Polo, a 45 to 1 shot, has come up even with Caduceus. They finish in a dead heat, each with foul claims against him. The claim against Caduceus is upheld, and Champ Polo is the winner.